What's good? What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the show, man. Recap with Mo, where we getting ready to get into another episode breakdown of Tyler Perry's at Team, all right? But before we get into this thing, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss shit and it that's going down right here, all right? So the episode we getting ready to get into tonight is um episode number 14 of season two titled Redemption, all right? So the synopsis for this episode states that Zach's predicament makes Angela reconsider her actions towards Bryce, and Zach plans a grand gesture to get Fatima back. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this thing. All right, y'all, so we start this episode off with um, Ashley calling Fatima. Now, she tells um, Fatima that Zach has finally left the building. Fatima is like, good, I'm glad that he's gone. But by the way, Ashley goes ahead and conveys to Fatima that Zach told her that he was not giving up on getting Fatima back. So she was like, well, I pretty much already knew that. So Anyhow, Ashley is now feeling some type of way about how this whole situation is going down with she and Bryce because she feels like she's done him wrong after having this whole little conversation with Zach. So she tells him that she would like to meet up with him at the club after, you know, she gets off the phone with, uh, what's her name, Fatima. Now, he's like, well, I'm right down the street or whatnot. I can just come back to your crib or whatnot. And she was like, well, okay, well, just hurry on up. So he heads back over to her crib. So now we head back over to the club where we see Fatima and Paul. They're having this whole little conversation about the women of Atlanta, how they look at men in different professions, how much money they make. And Fatima's like, oh, so you you a pro at this. Like you you seem like you have something to share on this. And he was like, Man, I got so many stories I could tell. Now I can get a little bit into this, but I'm not because it's so much it's so much good stuff to talk about within this episode. I'm going to save this for another day, but I do have some shit to say. But anyhow, um, he was like, look, man, you know, once they find out that I'm, a, you know, a contractor or a construction worker or something like that, like they want to know who my boss is. You know what I'm saying? And in our, I'm going to just say this and I'm going to leave it alone. You know, in our community, for some reason, it seems like we're always after the bag not thinking about the family as a unit. So if I'm always chasing after the bag, I'm also missing out on opportunities to get to know someone that earnestly loves me for me and that could we can build a unit. Not to say that money is not important because finances are important in a relationship, in a union. But at the same token, if that's all that we're chasing after, the boss who's in control of everything, who got the bag, then we're going to miss out on so much in our lives that, I mean, we will never be happy because we're always going to be continuously chasing after the bag. I'm going to leave it at that. I ain't going to preach to y'all tonight. But anyhow, you know, he's like, okay, well, what, you ready to get up out of here? She was like, yeah, I'm ready to go to open mic or whatnot. So they get up. But before they head out, when they get up, you know, in Tyler Perry fashion, he had to, you know, make this point right here to Fatima right here and now that you are the most beautiful woman that I've ever seen in my life. And, and you know, I love fine women. So I, I he don't get no, you know, he don't get no dispute on my end. But at the same time, bro, this ain't the time or the place. I, I, I see what you're doing. You try to move in while you got this opportunity. But at the same time, she ain't really feeling it because you can tell she's like, oh, okay, thank you. But at the same time, she ain't feeling it because it ain't coming from the that she wants. She wants you, but she doesn't want you, Paul. I'm sorry to tell you, my brother. But, <laughs> but anyhow, man, so... um. Fatima was like, so what is all of that supposed to mean? He was like, well, I'm talking about you and me, you giving me a chance, giving me an opportunity to make this thing work between us. There is no us. But <laughs> you just don't get it. There is no us right now. It is just you and then you're by yourself. And then there's Fatima who's trying to figure this shit out. All right. That's honestly what it, you are a stepping stone right now to get her back to where she belongs. But anyhow, Going on from there, um, next we see Bryce coming into um, Ashley's crib. 
she reassures him first and foremost that there is absolutely no chance that they will be getting back together. But by the way, while she's telling him all this good stuff about Zach, you know, him trying to change his ways. And, you know, Bryce is like, yeah, I'm glad that he's doing all of this. She suggests that Bryce considers going to therapy as well. And he was like, well, why do I need to go to therapy? Do you think I got a problem? Like, because I like to swing with other people. And she was like, yeah. Like, and let me be honest, man. I've never done, um, I've never done anything like that because, you know, to each his own. But for me personally, I, don't, I need my attention to be on the one that I'm with and not with people behind me, beside me, and all of that shit like that. I'm going to just be honest with you. Because Bryce is like, okay, well, Ashley, have you ever had a threesome? She was like, well, yeah. He was like, okay, so you sitting up here judging me, and you had somebody else in the bedroom as well. See, that's what I got a problem with. See, uh, I believe the great comedian, what's his name, Earthquake, says something like this. He said, one of y'all ain't going to get the attention that you want because I'm focused on the one that's in front of me. And then the one behind me is kissing on my neck or whatnot. So you're going to have to exit the room because I can't really focus. And I tell y'all, I absolutely agree. Like, what the hell are we doing? There's too much going on. It sounds fun. Sounds good. But damn it, I need to focus right here because I'm going to wear this one right here out. The other one. I don't know if I'm having it in me to get to you. I'm just going to tell you. But anyhow, <laughs> and I'm a dog, you hear me? But anyhow, going on, <laughs> going on from there, man, uh, we see, um, what's her name? My girl, Connie, man, standing outside of a building talking to somebody. I can't tell if it's a man or a woman. I can't tell. But she's talking about how much are you going to pay me? So I'm like, what the hell? Like, what is going on here? Because I already got questions in my mind about what's going on. But I don't want to jump to any damn conclusions, all right? But she's talking to somebody about making some money, how much you're going to pay me. But anyhow, in the shadows, we see our brother Zach coming up. And when he comes up, he was like, what's good, Connie? She was like, oh, so what, what brings you back into the neighborhood? And he was like, well, I just come to lay eyes on you. And she was like, okay, so you coming to lay eyes on me or whatnot. Let me go ahead and take these clothes off. He was like, no, 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 it's not like that, all right? I'm just coming because I need you to roll with me real quick. So she was like, okay, let me go ahead and change my clothes. You want to come upstairs? He was like, no, I don't want to come upstairs. I just need you to do what you need to do, all right? And she was like, what in the hell does this girl got on you to keep you from giving me what I want from you? And I was like, he, I mean, he in love. Dad, go on it, Connie. All right, I, I get it. You love him. You, you love that thing, but you got to let it go. You know what I'm saying? He ain't focused on you right now. See, you and Paul, y'all got y'all got a familiar lane that y'all in right now. Both of y'all are in this lane where you want somebody, but they don't want y'all. That's where y'all are right now. But anyhow, moving on from there, she goes ahead and changes her clothes. Zach stays down outside of the building. So next we see Paul and Fatima uh, coming into the open mic when um, Belinda shows up. Now, they've been having this nice little conversation and um, her girl Belinda, well, not her girl now, but Belinda shows up and Fatima's whole disposition changes. At first, she was happy on level 10. All of a sudden, Belinda shows up. She's like, what the hell? Like, I'm ready to go. So anyhow, Belinda's like, what's good? How you doing, friend? And then she was like, oh, hell, who is this? Like, is this Zach's replacement? And I was like, hold on. No, you didn't, sis. Like, you the reason why a lot of this shit is going down right now. And you still sitting up here talking about, is this Zach's replacement? I was like, hold on, wait a minute. So Paul was like, okay, look, what's good? Like, we're just trying to have a good time. We're trying to have a good conversation right here. And then they go into this whole backstory, you know, with she and Belinda, what she did to him. You know, I messed with his, uh, with her man or whatnot. He was like, well, that doesn't sound like a friend. Like, that wasn't a good thing to do. But anyhow, we're trying to have a good conversation here, good vibes here, all right? And she was like, well, number one, I'm not going to be the one to mess up your night, all right? And when she says that, she turns around and we see Zach in the background suited and booted. And he comes up and he approaches the table. I was like, hell to the now, bro. So anyhow, when he comes up, he directly sits down 
right in front of Fatima. He ain't concerned about Paul. He don't even look at Paul for real, for real. And he's directing his attention 100% at Fatima. So he goes in. He was like, what's good? You on a date for real? And she was like, yeah, I'm actually on a date, Zach. He was like, well, I mean, look, does he make you laugh like I make you laugh? Now, Fatima lied. I ain't heard her chuckle in a while like she did with my brother Zach. But anyhow, I'm going to let you live in it for a moment, all right? So she goes ahead and says, yes, he does. As a matter of fact, makes me chuckle real good, all right? So he was like, okay. Now, I'm going to get on Zach a little bit as well because everything doesn't have to be about the physical, my brother. Like, the whole time she's talking about, you know, talking about politics and philosophy and science and shit like that. I know I added that science. But anyhow, she wants to talk about other things. And I think she's already alluded to the fact that you've been wearing that thing out. You know what I'm saying? So her energy ain't your energy right now. Like, she wants it, but she don't want it all the damn time. And most of the time, women are like that. Well, not all women, but some women are like that. Like, they don't want it all the damn time. But at the same token... Zach, you're going to have to change your mindset, brother, because it just can't be about laying it down, spreading it wide, doing that thing, wearing it out, you know, having her trying to get her breath. It can't always be about that. Now, when that time comes, go ahead and knock that thing out the park. But what she's trying to tell you is I need more of this from you and not just that, because Paul is sparking something in her that you're not touching right now. I'm going to leave that right there to uh, to marinate real quick. But anyhow, um, he was like, okay, look, I want to love you in the rain. I want I want you to feel. Man, listen, Zach, you still talking the language that she ain't trying to hear right now. But I will admit this, Zach. It did get to her because it made her think about it. <laughs> man, listen, man, I was in it, man. So anyhow, going on from there. Zach goes on to tell her that, look, I'm going to get ready to leave now. He talks to Paul and say, y'all have a good night. But he says, I'm going to go ahead and leave the door open. He took a page out of Karen's old book, you know, where she was going to leave the door open for him and for him to walk on in there and do that thing, too. So I was like, all right, Zach, you and Karen, y'all put this together. So any. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, when, when all of that went down, he was like, look, I'm going to leave that door open. He was like, hey, bro, you enjoy your night. This is the only time that he gave Paul his due at that table when he told her, told him, I'm sorry, to enjoy the night, pay for the drinks, but she coming home with me. I can respect that, Zach. And Paul is feel, feeling some type of way about it. Now, I'm going to give him his points as well because he could have dusted the table real quick with Zach, but he chose not to. And, I, and I'm going to give him his points for that because he could have done something totally different, which he really wanted to. You could tell from his body language, but he, he but he held himself and he held it down. All right. But you could tell that he felt some type of way because his question to Fatima is like, does any of this bother you? And Fatima's like, no, because she used to dysfunction. Like, that's what she's accustomed to. Like, she's used to the thugs laying it down and, and then coming in here, tearing up some shit. And then all of a sudden, we back to square one. We good. Paul, like, he's not used to that. And obviously, he doesn't understand the context in which Fatima has been working. All right. So next, we see the crew. All the boys are together. They done showed up to support Zach to get his woman back. Laugh. I'm just laughing, man, because it's crazy. Even Nate is there. So Nate is still feeling some type of way because he's like, look, I ain't going to fight over Fatima like that's your girl. And he doesn't say that word. I'm not going to say that word on my platform. I would never say it. But at the same time, Zach is like, look, don't you ever call her that ever again. Don't call her out of her name. Zach, real quick, understand that that Zach feels some type of way about this woman. And he was like, look, you're going to respect her just like you respect me. All right. So Nate is like, OK, cool. All right, bro. I got you. So Zach is like, look, by the way, now I did not like this because you did not want him to call her out of her name. But then you turn around, even though she probably deserves some type of name calling, but to to turn around and, and call her out of her name as well. Belinda, that's what I'm talking about. I felt some type of way because you can't do both, bro. So while he's calling Belinda over 
Um, Nate is like, oh, hell no. So anyhow, when she comes over, Zach is like, I'm going to just ask y'all this one time. Did y'all both have anything to do with setting up that fake account with Fatima's information on it? Nate is like, no, I don't even know what you're talking about, bro. I didn't know anything about it until she showed me while he was saying that he slowed down. And he was like, man, hold on, wait a minute. And then he turns to Belinda and he was like, did you set this shit up like this? And she was like, I don't even know what you're talking about, your lying ass. That's what you could have called us at outside of that other shit you were talking about. But at the same time, she was lying out her face and and it needed to be corrected at that moment, all right? And I'm glad that Nate was able to see what type of woman he was dealing with when he needs to get his shit back together at the crib. But he's mad at Fatima because she spoke to his wife about their situation. So he can't get mad about that because he was living foul. So anyhow, moving on. <laughs> can't get mad about the truth, bro. Um, anyhow, going on from there, um... Zach tells Ashley because Ashley done popped up. Now, let me just say this. Lord have mercy. Now, man, Ashley is a beautiful black sister, man. I I, look, I love my black women, light skin, in between, chocolate, whatever you are. I love each and every one of y'all. Listen, Ashley was fine. Like, Man, that little blue outfit, man. Let me tell y'all, man. Let me keep moving on, man. <laughs> let me move on for y'all cut me off. Anyhow, man, so when she comes in, Zach is like, look, your girl Belinda is foul. Like, she set up this whole fake account on your girl Fatima. Ashley ain't believing it. She was like, hold on, no, I don't believe y'all. Now, once she sees the, the response from the fellas as they leaving, they calling her out on her uh, on her BS or whatnot. But Linda's like, I don't, I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm about to get up out of here. Like, don't be looking at me, all of this stuff. So Ashley comes over and she was like, I know you did not do that. And Belinda is like, no, no, I'm dead. she's standing 10 toes down right, right now. No, I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, look, I cannot believe that you did this shit. Like, so Ashley believing it. You know what I'm saying? She didn't want to, but she can tell that she knows that her girl is foul. All right. So anyhow, going on from there, we head back over to see Fatima and Paul talking and they just having a little side conversation. And they are obviously talking about Zach what 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 she's thinking about and she was like look i'm thinking about getting up out of here and he was like for real he was like together she was like definitely together but he was like no you thinking about him she was like no are you thinking about him he was like quite honestly i was thinking about dusting his ass here at the table which i honestly get because that was highly disrespectful of zach to do that but at the same token, Fatima was like, no, that would have been totally immature on your part as well. So, like I said, stated before, I'm glad that he did not do that because that could have been a whole different situation. But while we're talking about this situation, um, our boy Zach and his and his following, his crew, Nate and Tony, they walk up towards the table. So I was like, oh, shit, it's about to go down. But while they walking up towards the table, Fatima noticed them you know, notices them coming up to the table as well. But Zach bypasses Fatima and Paul, by the way. And um, he goes up to the open mic. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? His boys are like, what the hell is he doing? He gets up there. He, he makes this whole little statement about, you know, he did this thing to this woman. He lost the woman of his life. Woo, woo, woo. And, you know, I can't say, but I'm going to tell y'all that, you know, I told my girl a lie that I slept with this girl. I actually didn't. And by the way, the girl that he's talking about is Connie, who just so happens to look fine as hell as well in that little black dress that she got on. I'm still not trusting her, though, but she looked good as hell in that black dress. And she started talking about, no, he did not, even though I was trying to give it to him because of this woman right here. He ain't giving it to me. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And he was like, look, Connie, I need you to... <laughs> <laughs> I need you to sit the hell down, shut the hell up. I'm trying to get to the point here, and I got this song that I got to sing for my woman, right? So anyhow, he goes on to sing this song, you know, um, damn, who sings that song? Nobody knows it but me. Yeah, that, that, damn, who sings that song? I can't even think about it. It's on the tip of my damn tongue. 
It ain't baby face, is it? Damn, who sings that song? It's going to come to my mind. It may be, damn it, baby face. I don't know. But anyhow, he did his thing on the song. Even though he conveyed to us that he's not a singer. The messed up part about this is that he's pouring out his love for his woman. He got the tears rolling down. You can tell emotionally that he's messed up. Fatima is messed up. Paul, looking at this image right here. Paul is looking directly at Fatima as she's going... (laughs) As she's going through this emotional roller coaster where she can't contain herself, she got her head down. And the messed up part about all of this, Zach is crying his eyes out. He's singing as best as he could. And Fatima leaves. Oh, and Paul, too, by the way. Um, And Zach is like, damn, like I did all of that and she left. Yeah, she did leave, bro, because she's trying to guard her feelings. She's feeling some type of way, and you're pulling at those, you're tugging at those hard strings right now, and she doesn't know what to do. So her response is, let's jettison, let's head back. Now, I don't know where the hell they went there so very quickly. Like, I, I believe they went back to, I guess they live right around the corner. <laughs> I don't know. But anyhow, you know, the next thing we see, you know, after they give him a standing ovation, are the shoes on the floor, and she's laid up on the couch, and Paul is trying to get in. You know, trying to get it started anyhow. And she just isn't there. And she gives him a look and he gives her a look like, damn. Like, there is no winning with this, Paul. I've already told you from the get-go. See, you can't trust this with sprayed on headlines. I'm just trying to tell y'all. Like, he knows that there is no way in hell that he's going to eventually get this woman because her heart is not there. Like, ladies and gentlemen, we know as men if there's an opportunity for me to get to where I'm trying to get to. Paul knows that there is no way, but he's trying to take this opportunity, this this slight point of weakness within their, their relationship to see if he can win it. I ain't mad at him. Because she's fine as hell. But at the same time, why even fight in a battle that you know there's no chance of you winning? So anyhow, that's pretty much the end of... Oh, no. That wasn't the end of the episode. Because while she's sitting there, she's looking at Paul. Now, this is the twist of it. The next thing you see is Fatima taking off a dress, coming towards Zach. And I'm like, what the hell? Did she go back to his crib? Or is this a dream? Because then she... <laughs> Like, what the hell is going on? So, that was the end of the episode. Tell me what you think down below, man. I was... uh, It it was great. I think this episode was pretty good. It wasn't as emotionally driven as the previous episode. So, I really enjoyed that we were able to see it without people crying all over the place. And, you know, even myself, I felt some type of way about this previous episode where Zach was going through this whole situation with his mom and his brother, Jeremiah. Like, it was just hard to watch. But in this one, I was like, okay, he getting his redemption back. So I see why they called it that. So anyhow, let me know your thoughts down below, man. Um, As always, like and subscribe. Don't miss nothing on this platform. Um, And I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.